Hello, my lovelies. Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome in. Come on in. Today, I've got an amazing message for the collective today. Um, it's I've got an oracle and tarot reading that's going to blow your minds. But first of all, um, I want to just cleanse the energy. My intention is that anybody who's watching this, you are cleansed and refreshed and that you receive the messages you need to receive for clearer guidance. Of course, as always, only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind for someone else. If the message doesn't fit for you, then it doesn't fit, but I intend that this message reaches those who need it. Okay, let's hop on into this. So, what we got here. Today I'm channeling the Arcturians, um, and if you don't know um, much about them, you might want to research them. Um, I was called to read, usually I work with the Pleiadians, and I recently learned that the Arcturians were the ones that assisted the Pleiadians in um, achieving higher consciousness. Just like the Pleiadians are assisting humanity, I work with them a lot, they assist me, and then I assist other humans to ascend higher. So it's like a chain that happens. So um, since the Arcturians are the ones who taught the Pleiadians, they wanted to talk to me directly today, or talk to you really. Um, so I'm passing on the message from the Pleiadians to you. If you found this message, it's definitely meant for you. So let's jump on in. For the collective, the main overarching theme was, and this one's from the Twin Flame deck that I have. This was 4-4, four, four, the generator, staying grounded. Staying grounded is very, very important, especially right now. The energy right now is, I'm sure you feel it, it's kind of crazy um, as I'm making this video that um, it's about to be the new moon. Um, I forgot what it's in right now, but the new moon and a solar eclipse. I'm not sure when I'm going to release this, but the solar eclipse is coming in a few days. Um, and there is actually a new moon, like a second quote unquote moon that's about to, that just entered our solar system. Um, it's not really a moon. It's like this asteroid or something that's really huge, and it's, but it's going to follow and be in the Earth's orbit for a couple of months or so. Um, and that impacts the energy. And a lot of people around me right now um, are experiencing like chaos and, and confusion. Actually, as I'm saying this, I just got a bunch of messages for my job. Wow. <clears throat> anyway, so staying grounded is so damn important. What am I doing right now? I'm sitting on the ground. I'm barefoot on the ground because when you put your bare feet on the ground, it recharges your energy. It's not just some hippy dippy thing. It actually is scientifically proven to basically it takes the negative and positive ions and reconnects them correctly, rewires them and it heals you. Um, if you haven't read it, watched it yet, there's a YouTube documentary called, I think it's called Earthing or the Earthing movie, something like that. It's the Earthing movie. And it teaches you about earthing where you stay grounded. There's lots of other ways to stay grounded, but this is the easiest one for me, the one I like to do the best. I was actually gonna do this video um, at a table um, upstairs, like on this pretty patio upstairs, but I felt called to stay grounded. And then when I got the message here, stay grounded. That's what it, that's important right now. And it says the generator. First of all, the number 4-4. Four, four. I've been seeing that a lot. 4-4 four, four and 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Um, it's about stability. In the tarot, Four of Wands. Ooh, it's a divine marriage. Um, but fours are about sta stability and like long-term longevity by staying stable and grounded. Um, the generator, staying grounded. What was I going to say about the generator? Arcturians, what did you want me to say about generator? Oh, you can gener generate... Yeah, you can generate when you're manifesting. You have to be careful of your energy and your intention. If your intention is bad or you have no intention, your manifestations might come out a little wonky. Um, if you are, your intention is good, but your energy is off and you're not grounded, your manifestation can take a different turn. Even if you're hoping for one thing, and everything's aligned, if your energy is off and you're not grounded, it it might not happen for you. And then you can start doubting yourself or start doubting the universe and lose faith and confidence. So 
and it deters your pro it hinders your progress when that happens. So make sure you stay grounded, whatever that means to you. Oh, and drink a lot of water, especially water helps you stay grounded. It helps you ascend. It helps you heal. Um, it helps you channel, tap into your divine everything. It's healing. It's everything. So I'm going to take some right now. Mm. Also, breath work is important. <clears throat> That's something I need to work on more. I don't do enough breath work. So I'm gonna challenge you and I'm gonna challenge myself to try and do more breath work. Actually, there is one that I really love, this YouTube video called Ancient Tumo Challenge. Something like that, it's the Ancient Tumo Breath Work. Yeah, yeah, Ancient Tumo Breath Work. I'll post a link to that um, later so you can do it with me. <clears throat> but yeah, for the collective, it said that and Practice chakra healing. Practice chakra healing. So you can put your hand over your heart and you're gonna heal your heart chakra. It helps your brain and your heart align. It's called brain heart coherence. And it's scientifically proven to help the magnetic or the electrical, whatever it is to resonate properly. And you can do that with any of your chakras. If you have a specific chakra you know you need to work on, then you can put your hand, let's say solar plexus chakra, you need to heal that. Your hands have healing energy in it, so you can heal just by putting it on. Or if it's your sacral chakra, whatever it is, if you're having trouble figuring out what you need to heal, you can practice your third eye or crown chakra healing. And then the Bible, the Bible verse that came up with this is, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom, of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 12. Mm, that's powerful. So next, for the Divine Feminine Collective, and it could also be um, the Divine Feminine inside you, because everybody's got feminine and masculine inside them. It's the balance of life, one of the seven hermetic principles. Divine feminine, it says you are, it's one, one. So you might be seeing the number one, one a lot or one, one, one or 11, 11. That's coming up a lot. Um, it says chosen one, the fast track to ascension. And look at this imagery. If you're watching this, you are one of the chosen ones. Whether you're masculine or feminine, you are one of the chosen ones if you're watching this. You're probably part, you probably identify as a twin flame or light worker or a star seed or one of the 144,000 souls who have chosen to incarnate on earth to help the earth ascend, just like the Pleiadians and the Arcturians help others ascend. You're one of the chosen ones and you're on the fast track to ascension. So that's talking about timeline shifting and jumping. Um, and this portal, there's a portal coming up. This looks, this image gives me a portal right now. The energy is so potent. Um, the energy of the, <clears throat> the new moon, the eclipse and that extra asteroid that's coming in. Plus right now, Venus is in Scorpio, which is Scorpio is about transformative change huge transformative shifts, the phoenix rising, tower moments, death and rebirth. So it's a huge portal that's right now happening. And this video is also a portal for you. No matter what time frame you see this video in, this is a timeless message. This video is your portal to manifest and to ascend. So for clarification, we got trust in yourself. Trust in yourself. You are the high priestess. You are the divine feminine. You are whatever it is you believe you are. Delulu is the Salulu. <clears throat> but this is confirmation that you are whatever it is you believe you are, truly are. And you need to trust in yourself. Doesn't matter what other people think. And especially don't label yourself by the 3D. Sometimes the 5D ascension process can be really hard because... It takes time for things to grow and change. And we are the leaders of the new world. So in the 3D world, we're not going to necessarily look like or the things that the 3D world thinks is successful. God calls people and gives them power. He doesn't call the rich and famous 
and the wise, he calls the humble, the ones who, um, I'm hearing that phrase, he doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the called. So you are called, if you're watching this video, trust in yourself. Ooh, and this is, ooh, oh God, I didn't even realize this at first. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. That's Acts 1.8. So January 8th could be important to you or August 1st, 1, 8, 18, 9. But just like this, you are divine feminine and the feminine inside you. You are, this video, this message is confirmation. You are a chosen one. You need to trust in yourself. But if you don't feel like you have the power yet, you will receive the power when you allow the Holy Spirit to come upon you. Anybody can have access to the wisdom that I'm giving you. Anybody can research the things I've researched and learn the secrets I've learned. But God doesn't... How should I say this? Arcturians, how do you want me to say this? <clears throat> you know how like in you can go into the spiritual community and there's still gonna be weird, I don't wanna say weird, but people, like weird energies, there's still bad energies in the spiritual community, even though everybody has access to all the same things. Even if everybody has access to all the same tools and the same secrets, there's still gonna be unhealed people. Spirituality and healing attracts unhealed people. The secret to discernment is the Holy Spirit. You have to heal your mental first. Your mental, you have to work on your mental and your shadows. That's that's another message actually they want me to get out and I think I'm gonna make that into a longer video another time. But you have to heal your inner child and, and stuff. And that's what's happening. If you're watching this video, you've already been doing the shadow work. And that's the point of this. People who don't do the shadow work and are in spirituality don't have the blessing of the Holy Spirit. You, if you're watching this, you have the blessing of the Holy Spirit. And if you don't, then you can just invite it right now. Invoke the Holy Spirit right now. Let's do it right now. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Your name is power. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Christ. His name is power. Yeshua. Ooh, I talk about power and a, a helicopter just drove by. Wow. There's not normally helicopters over here. I, talk to, I said Jesus and freaking helicopter. When you have the Holy Spirit, when you have Christ in your heart, in your spirit, that is the power that elevates you and heals you. And that is what you need. That's the fast track ascension. You trust in yourself. You trust in Christ, though, or you trust in the Holy Spirit, and that's going to fast track you. Okay, so let's move on. That's the divine feminine message. So for divine masculine, brr, God, I'm so excited. Like, this is so fun. I can't, mm, like, I didn't want to make this a long video, but this is just so fun. I want to take my time with it. I don't want to rush through it. Like, I'm looking at the timer and want to go fast, but this is so fun. Okay, I'm going to slow down. Divine masculine. And the number that came up was 1111. Ooh, <laughs> that's so fucking beautiful. I love it. <clears throat> 1111, compassion, higher heart opening. And 1111 is the four of wands. You know, it's that divine uni union and this higher heart opening. So that's what the divine masculine is working on right now. They've ascended a lot, but they still have a little bit of blockages around their heart. And it could be it could be manifesting in your health in different ways. It can, it can manifest, basically any blockage can manifest in spiritual, emotional, or physical symptoms. Um, I, I was researching recently, like I was re reading through um, Louise Hay's book, Heal Your, I think it's called Heal Your, Heal Your Body, Heal, Heal Your Life, something like that. And I found psoriasis is a, is a, at basically any skin condition it has to do with your armor that you put, put around you and so psoriasis can be 
something where you're protecting, you think you're protecting yourself from getting hurt, but really you're protecting your heart. You're guarding your heart in the wrong way. Only God should guard your heart. You should guard, guard your heart by having God in your heart and letting people in, the right people in. I don't know who needed to hear that, but compassion and have compassion for yourself and for others. And that will unlock your higher heart. Ooh, compassion. Where is it? This stone I'm wearing right now. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. <sighs> this stone I'm wearing right now is peacock ore. And peacock ore has to do with compassion. And Quan Yin um, is the goddess that relates to this. And you got to have compassion for yourself for the mistakes you've made and compassion for others. If you notice yourself being harsh or critical to other people, judging other people or criticizing a lot, um, it could be in just simple ways. It could be even at work, like you're complaining a lot. If you notice yourself complaining a lot, realize you need to have compassion and you can work with Peacock or to help you with that. And actually, higher heart open. This is so, I love the divine. Like these messages are so perfect. Thank you, Arcturians. Like higher heart opening, the oracle message I got for this, I will heal and move on. So there's something in your past, divine masculine. There's something in your past that you haven't let go of, but you gotta, to fully let go of it, you have to trust, you have to open. Ooh, divine feminine is getting trust in yourself, but divine masculine needs to learn how to trust in the divine feminine. The feminines you were with in the past may not have been divine or they may have been, they may not have been fully divine. They may have still been damaged and not fully awakened to their power. They were still human and have compassion for them hurting you, but also have compassion for yourself and your judgment. You can trust yourself now. You can trust your judgment. You can trust that you will heal and move on by opening your heart. And ooh, by opening your heart to, this is beautiful because I'm about to drop some mm, Arcturian knowledge. You have to open your heart to other humans and to the spiritual, to the divine. This one says Matthew 6, 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. So open your heart to God or source or prayer and it doesn't have to be vain repetitions. You don't have to be all like our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You know, that is amazing. That is words that came from Christ and he was giving us a tool to use, but it shouldn't just be a vain repetition. It shouldn't just be something you recite and then you move on. It should be something that comes from your heart. Use the words that come from your heart. Just like if you were talking to a friend or a lover or yourself, the Holy Spirit knows the inner workings of your heart. Even if you don't know the words to say, let your open your heart to the Holy Spirit. There's a Bible verse that says something about like the Holy Spirit speaks in groanings and utterances or understands the utterances and groanings of our heart. So your higher heart will heal and move on if you do that. God, there's so much more I wanna say, but they're telling me to move on. Okay, so I pulled some tarot. Let's move on to the tarot cards. We got eight of, and this is for the whole collective, eight of pentacles and seven of swords. So eight and seven, ooh, 87 might be important. 1987, 78, August 7th, July 8th. Eight of pentacles is about apprenticeship and mastery. Where in your life, and it's probably spiritual, but it could be also in the, I'm feeling for the masculine, it's in your spiritual life that you need to practice more and you're starting to, but there's somewhere in your life that you need to practice more and gain mastery over it. For the feminine, it could be in your physical world, but that's just me talking. Um, yeah, where in your life, you gotta reflect and figure out where in your life, um, are you just starting out and that you just need to practice a little bit more? Remember, it takes 10,000 hours of practice to become a professional at anything. So you can do it. Whatever it is that you're being called to do, you can do it. You have the power of the divine behind you. All you got to do is practice a little bit and you, you got it. 
And to clarify that, I got manifest your wishes. Manifest your wishes. So you might need to take more time manifesting. Actually, ooh, yes. Practice in the 3D world, but also balance it out. Balance it out, the yin and the yang. Whatever it is that you need to ascend higher or you want to create, whatever your wishes are, take a balance and evaluate for yourself. Where in my life do I need to manifest more and use more of the yin energy? And by, by manifest, I mean daydream, think about it, vision, close your eyes and just imagine what it would look like, what it would feel like, feel those feelings. Oh my God, feel how awesome it's gonna feel when your, let's say your book goes, is a bestseller. Oh my gosh, what is it gonna feel like when you reach your goal of, I don't know, whatever it is. Like for me, I have so many goals and dreams um, and they're telling me focus on everything, but not just a lot of times, especially if you're on the twin flame journey, we focus on relationships. And that's a really, I mean, that is a good one on um, a quick way to feel happy because vibrations are everything. So if you feel the feeling of, oh my God, I'm with my partner, everything's great, we're in a happy, whatever your thing is, like for me, I wanna be in a, in a divine partnership with a, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into all the details, but basically I wanna have that divine partnership, the person God chose for me. Um, and feel that feeling of happiness. We're both in our element, doing our thing that we like to do, making an impact on the world <sighs> and being with our friends and having time for family and friends and just hobbies and traveling the world together. And uh, recently I went to Burning Man and I got a little taste of that feeling with the community and the friendship and the everything. Ooh, that's a message for later. Maybe I should, I don't know, anyway. Our trains guide me where I need to go with that because this is so cool. Hold on. Yeah, manifest your wishes. Okay. Um, yeah, I got a taste of that and it felt so good and now I know what it feels like. So it's easier to tap into that feeling of manifesting of the future. And you can feel those feelings now. You don't have to have that partner with you right now. Even if the 3D world doesn't look like what you want it to be, take time out to daydream and stuff so that way you can feel those feelings and bring it into reality. You gotta practice it, practice that 10,000 hours of practice. If you're not doing it enough, then take time to do it. Make it a priority. And then for a clarification of the Seven of Swords, um, <clears throat> this is about self-deception, mental manipulation and trust issues um, and trickery. Ooh, okay. So you might be thinking, is this, am I deluding myself? Like, is it healthy for me to do this? I know I question myself all the time. It's like, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem moral. That doesn't seem right. Like, uh, uh, delusional. Okay. Delulu is the Salulu. Delulu is the Salulu. And actually in mental health, um, there is a form of therapy called ART where you rewire your brain to, you think about a traumatic memory you might want to look it up if you have trauma issues or even trust issues or you worry a lot because of past. There's a theory, uh, a thing called ART. I forgot what it stands for, but um, you're basically thinking about a memory and reliving it, but you are changing what happened. Even if it didn't really happen, you're changing what happened. You're deciding, you know what? I could have made this choice or they could have made that choice. And that's the, what I'm gonna believe. And you repeat that memory over and over, the new one, the positive one with the happy ending or where you got out of that situation, that traumatic situation and you survived it and nothing bad actually happened to you or whatever it is that the memory or the thing that you need to remember, they teach this in mental health like professionals go to school to teach this to people and then people in recovery and stuff, they use this tool. So it's okay to deceive yourself when you're trying to reprogram yourself to heal and to manifest things. It is totally okay. <clears throat> I don't know who needed to hear that, but once you do that, three of wands, luck and opportunity and good things are coming your way. It's pointing, the, the divine's pointing you in the right direction and they're saying, I got two of swords and nine of swords. It's pointing to, ooh, and the moon came out also. 
your subconscious mind, even if you feel like you've done this a little bit, your subconscious mind is still holding on to this pain, this heartbreak, and this worry that it's going to happen again. Something I use to correct my subconscious and to really rise and heal is subliminal messages and affirmations. As I fall asleep and as I'm waking up, and sometimes even throughout the day, just randomly, I listen to affirmations. I listen to subliminal messages that are rewiring my, con my subconscious thoughts because our subconscious controls about like 90, I think it's like 90% of our actions. So everything that you think, everything that you do, even your thoughts, your thoughts that you have on an everyday basis, they are programmed by your subconscious. And something I learned in therapy is cognitive distortions. You might want to Google that, cognitive distortions. But one that they're telling me to tell you is, you know that old saying of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results? That's good sometimes, but when mental health is bullshit, because if you think about every single time, let's say you, every time you started that business, you failed. Every time you tried that project, it failed. So you don't try again. Or every time you try to have a conversation, that important conversation with someone or whatever it is that you failed, if you don't ever try again, that's what the insanity thing is saying. Don't ever try again. But co that's a cognitive distortion. That's a cognitive bias. You can, you can and should keep trying the same damn thing again, expecting different results because you are learning different things every time. The season is different each time. You might be with different people each time. The vibrations are different each time. You know, this, the situation is different. So don't let that discourage you. Keep practicing, stop worrying, and everything's gonna come to pass. <clears throat> okay, Arcturians, final messages. Oh, speaking of um, affirmations and subliminals, um, I'll link, I'll put a link to the affirmations that I've already created. I'm gonna create some more, but I'll pick an affirmation card for you right now. Affirmation card, okay. What does the collective need to hear, Arcturians? What affirmation does the collective need to work with right now? Ooh, today I am resourceful. Today I will turn anything into an opportunity. God, the world is yours. You can turn anything into an opportunity. Use that creative brain. Use that, use the moon. Use the subconscious, the feminine, the yin energy to turn anything into an opportunity. And what crystal does the collective need to work with? Should the collective work with right now? Hmm. What crystal? And actually, they're telling me to... <clears throat> You're telling me to do an extended version. I'm gonna tell you the crystal and give you a brief message with it. But I'm gonna do an extended video on my Patreon where I read the description of the crystal in this book and read you a reflection and a ritual to go with it. If you wanna dive deeper into um, shadow work or dive deeper into spirituality and work with that crystal and go deeper, um, you can check out the Patreon video extended version okay what crystal arcturians do they need to work with Ooh, morganite page 115 fill yourself morganite i don't know what morganite is actually i just want to look this up to see what it is the picture here look at this picture it's got a heart and a flower what does this message say to you? What does this picture say to you? And it says, fill yourself. I'm hearing fill yourself with the light and love of the divine. Like when you're meditating, fill yourself with the divine light coming in through your crown chakra. Have the angels or whoever it is that you work with fill you with the divine light. Fill yourself with happiness. Fill yourself with joy. Let your inner child be happy. <clears throat> but let me just read real quick what morganite is 1 15 and january 15th could be important or you might be seeing the number 115 
Ooh, and it's got a heart on there. So it goes back to healing your heart. Oh, here we go. This is the heart healing. Okay, it says, breathe into your heart, Morganite advises. From this space, you can expand into unexplored parts of your being, which is the moon card. <laughs> Connecting with the worlds both within you and around you in new ways. With your heart open, you can dive deep into your relationships, both with the human world and the non-human world, finding facets that didn't exist until Morganite helped you breathe them to life. God, everything is fitting in. The breath work, the brain heart coherence, all of this, the chakra healing, it all fits together. Thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, Arcturians. Grr, finding facets that didn't exist until Morganite helped you breathe them to life. Stretch into your fullness, Morganite whispers. From this place, the things that are not, you get, wait, from this place, the things that are not you, that are not you, get slowly crowded out by truths of your soul. Let me read that again. That is beautiful. From this place, the things that are not you, basically that are not aligned with you and your intrinsic truth, your authentic self, your higher self, things that are not you get slowly crowded out by the truths of your soul. This is not a quick process, Morganite knows. It's the work of years, of lifetimes. Practice. But it's work worth doing for the surety and peace of being holy yourself. Oh, crazy, God. I'm going to leave it there. That is a beautiful ending. I love it. Mm. I hope you all have a wonderful, fantabulous day. Thank you so much for watching this. If you could please join my Patreon, I'd greatly appreciate it. Even if you don't feel like watching the content, I mean, I, I'm not, I haven't been keeping up with it as much as I should be. But it helps me, you know, put food on the table. I appreciate it. And I love you all so much. Have a wonderful, fantabulous day. God bless you all. Mwah. Namaste. Bye-bye.